My name is Sanjana Thanakul. My name is Daniel Rowling. I'm Siobhan Doran. I'm a 2022 IT graduate, SA Power Networks. I graduated last year from the University of Adelaide in um, Mathematical and Computer Sciences and I majored in Statistics. I decided to join the SA Power Networks graduate program because I'm really interested in the challenges that we face. We're not really looking to maximise profits like other businesses, instead we're trying to continually strive to improve our customer service. Um, I graduated with a degree in uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering and I majored in Computer Systems. So I started the graduate program back in uh, November of 2020 as a summer vacation programmer. I did the uh, summer internship uh, in my third year at Adelaide Uni and the thing that really struck me was just how uh, friendly and inclusive everyone was at the company, how flexible they all were and how much uh, responsibility and agency I was given just as an intern. So I just finished up my rotation with the service desk and I became aware that there was a problem with the IT operations ticketing system. So I suggested we look into a machine learning algorithm that takes into account all the past tickets and where they've been allocated and trying to implement that in the business and we got the thumbs up and working with other grads on that now. So right now I am in a group called Network Systems. Uh, basically what this group does is they handle the big software, the ADMS software that handles all of the switching and supervisory controls to the grid and it's my job to make sure that that is uh, running properly, that all the devices are communicating as they should be and fixing up any sort of bugs and issues that come up. Currently being in the Assets and Works team, uh, we're working on a project called REPEX, which stands for Replacement Expenditure. Um, at SA Power we have an ageing assets uh, system where things were installed a long time ago so they need to be replaced uh, just due to uh, you, like wear and tear just because they're getting old. So they're building a forecast model which gathers particular constraints such as weather impacts and how old the assets are and if they're near oceans for example which leads to more corrosion and we are able to then forecast what assets need to be replacement first, what's our priority and how we're going to go about fixing these at uh, a fast rate to give reliable power to all of South Australia. Without electricity, society cannot function. And as we head into greater uncertain times through climate change and other factors, electricity and the security and stability of electricity supply is paramount. So as we know, we're really heading forward towards a renewable energy uh, sort of world. And um, currently, SA Power is really pushing for renewable energy, whether that be solar or wind, wind power. I think SA Power Networks adds value to the community by adapting to uh, ever-changing lifestyles. We're seeing a lot of new technologies come into the grid when, it wasn't, when our grid wasn't actually designed for that. Yeah, our grid was designed for one-way energy and now we're seeing that we want electric vehicles, um, virtual power plants, flexible exports as well as um, our solar power to be generated back into the grid. Um, that's what our customers want so that's what we're trying to adapt to as well. I love that there's no backseat option. So from the very first day when you're in a team and you suggest an idea, you're either be told it's been tried or tested and if not, then you're encouraged to go try it out yourself. So I think that's really, really great. Being in the company and just starting it out, it was a great experience because everybody was so supportive and they were very flexible with the timings, especially because I stayed on all throughout 2021, uh, working part-time while I was also at uni. As climate change poses a great challenge, but also a great opportunity for everyone. Uh, I get to be involved in the developing industry that isn't happening anywhere else in the world. And being able to do that with like-minded people who are passionate about the same things that I am, being able to come into work and hearing people talking about solar panels and electric cars is really exciting for me. I think you should join the SA Power Networks graduate program if you're looking to bring your fresh ideas, try new things out, um, be ready to fail, succeed and um, really support your team members as well as yourself and your career. I think there's uh, a lot of different things that you can get out of working at SA Power Networks and that you can provide back into the community. Yeah.